Hello guys, it's Ali and happy Monday to you all. So today, as I've just said, it's Monday, so I've got a bit of a mixed media project today. I'm not using a lot of mediums, I'm more using stamps, inks and these distress crayons. I'm just going to make some embellishments, I'll show you what I've made. These two are just drying. They're just, and they've got, can you see the shine on them? I watched a channel, uh, it come up on my recommended. Let me just tell you what the channel was called. I will leave a link. It was called Joanne and Jeannie Creation. I will put a link in my description. And she made these little embellishments and I thought, what a great idea. I've bought this kit. This is a new cluster kit from Andrea at Artie Mays. Um, I've cut out all the little bits and pieces. You get two sizes, small small pieces and the biggest pieces I've put them away for my other journal um, and then there's also some collage sheets that are on a Kofi site for free so I've printed them off and I've bought the kit so that's what we're going to use to do my embellishments with uh, this one I've just printed on some vellum just like washi sheets I'm not going to be using that today I'm just going to pop that out the way there for a minute so what I've got is just a piece of 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper. I want that side so they can they look nice on the back as well. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is first is I'm just going to do like a masterboard on my background. So I'll start off with it slow and then I'll speed it up because I don't think you want to sit watching me sticking papers onto paper, do you, for half an hour. The girls are back at school. So back into a little bit of a routine, <laughs> yeah, oh it's killed us all getting up out of bed at 7 o'clock, it has for sure, they'll be shattered come Friday, you know when they're off school I don't let, I don't give them a bedtime, I just let them, they're old enough to know when they're tired to get into bed, when they're off school obviously they have a bedtime for school, but yeah when they're on holidays I don't make them go to bed, they, they'll just get into bed when they're tired so everybody's shattered <laughs> yeah right what I'll do then is I will just rip some papers down and then I'll be back okay so I've ripped some papers down so what I'll do is I'll do a little bit of collaging just for a minute and then I'll put it on speed up to cover the paper because it'll be a bit boring for you to sit watching me cover this 12 by 12 paper so I'm going to use I've cut so ripped sort of fairly decent sized pieces otherwise I'll be here forever in a day so let's just get some of these stuck on okay just put that underneath my yeah it's a nice little kit this cluster kit really nice it is yeah I think there was over 20 pages and I think it was something silly like three pound no cost at all yeah it, it, it was really inexpensive so, yeah, that's what we're doing. How are we doing, guys? Are we all okay today? I hope so. I'm okay. Yeah, not really done very much, to be honest. Um, I've got all my Christmas crafting stuff out. I went through that a couple of days ago. It took me nearly two days to go through it all because I had lots of stuff from card making in there. So I've done a big bundle and I've put it on Facebook Marketplace to see if I can sell it because it's stuff that I won't use, stickers and embossing folders that I wouldn't use now and stamps that I wouldn't use and dies that I wouldn't use. So yeah, I thought rather than it just sitting in boxes I'll try and get rid of it and try and get a bit of money back for it so that's what I've been doing the last couple of days I've almost sorted my dies out I've still got a bit left to do with that but yeah I just keep doing a little bit each day get some more papers so yeah apart from that I've not really done anything exciting have you been anywhere or done anything um, I've noticed a big change in the weather. I've noticed how my body aches when the weather's cold. Well, not cold. It's not cold. That's the wrong word. But it's definitely changed. Definitely changed the weather temperature. 
I don't really go out much to be honest. The only time I go out really is if we go in the car somewhere or if we drive into town for an hour. Yeah, I'm happy crafting. I'm happy craft sat at home crafting. <laughs> yeah, it's a good job, isn't it? Because otherwise I don't know what I'd do with my time through the day if I didn't craft. Oh, there's only so many books you can read and so much rubbish on the telly you can watch isn't there am I on camera there yeah I'll do a little bit more and then I will speed it up oh this glue is very soft let's put that big piece at the top there I'm just going to get some kitchen towel just to wipe my hands on sticky let's just wipe around there yeah so I've not really done very much guys I don't know about you I'm just working on my journals really doing a little bit each day that's what I've been up to really apart from that nothing exciting <laughs> collage on my paper there and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use some of my distress crayons I'm just going to do a bit of scribbling some colour down we've got walnut stain we've got wild honey have some of this what's this one peeled paint this is one of my favorites right let's just try that and let's have a look what that looks like first now what I need to get and I forgot to get was some water so I'll have to just use my spritzer let's just I'm just going to grab something to go on my desk and then it doesn't wet everywhere pop that on my desk Right, let's spray some water. Let's go. 
get a paintbrush and I'm just going to move the crayons I think they might move better with my fingers yes they do your fingers are the best tool so I'm just moving the colour just to add a bit of colour on the background and you don't need distressed crayons you can use any wax crayons that you've got Ge what do you call them gelatos or anything that you've got you don't even need to use them you can use anything to put a bit of colour down whatever you want you can use watercolours, you can use anything, you don't have to have what I've got, this is just what I've got. So, right, we've we got a bit of colour on everywhere, we've still not got rid of the lines, have we? We won't see them in a minute because I'm going to do a lot of stamping. So, right, I'm just going to pop on my heat gun and I'm just going to dry off that water okay so i'm almost dry it's a little bit damp so can you see there where the distressed crayons haven't moved properly where they're just sort of the lines ideally what i should have done once i'd collaged i should have put a layer of either mod podge or gel medium over the cranes would have moved a lot a lot easier so you can see those lines in it but we're going to stamp now i'm going to stamp all over here so there will not be much showing so I've got, uh, I'm going to use Versafine Clear in Pine Coal and I'm going to use my Archival Black Ink so let's start with some, let's start with some brown I've got my basket of just sort of textured stamps here that I'm going to do first so let's just start off, the, it's going to get really covered with stamping this I know it looks a bit of a hot mess at the moment, doesn't it? <laughs> You're probably thinking, Alison, what are you doing? But hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll turn out nice at the end. Right, that's enough of that one. I'll have to just put them there because I'll have to clean them all. Uh, let's have a look. What shall we have next? We'll have this one. Oops. stick on there oh yeah that's nice because when you cut your paper down you just get little snippets of bits of the stamping so you don't know what you're going to end up with until you cut it down that's why I like doing a master board and I thought well let's add some other interest to the background as well okay what else should we have something big here we are let's have this one this is one from eBay, just a cheap one, it's a nice one, might have even been Amazon to be honest, I don't want that bit on the end I don't think, right let's just see if we can just stamp some of the numbers. See you can't see the crayons now but if you're going to have a go and you've got gel medium or mod podge put a cover a layer down before you do your distress crayons or your gel, whatever you're using for colour it'll move much easier I did have it on the side of my desk and I just completely forgot to to use it so well, never mind it's covering okay isn't it right let's have a look what else we can have let's have some script That. that looks nice doesn't it yeah right let's come in with some black let's try some black now uh, that needs cleaning right what else have I got just looking for sort of texture stamp I should have got more out really um, what have we got here oh yeah I've got some at the back here some Tim Holtz ones I'll use some of these right let's get the black I don't know which collection it is because I bought it off Facebook marketplace it is one of Tim Holtz's but I couldn't tell you off the top of my head which one it is, they just all came in an envelope.
okay so as you can see I've grunged it all up I've stamped all over it next I just want to put some splatters on there so I think I'm going to get my towel just to stop it from going everywhere it's just, just put this down I've ordered one of them splatter boxes but it's not arrived yet because they go up at the back so it stops your desk getting all messy right let's get some of the black first see if I can yeah that's working nicely I like that that's really nice isn't it really nice and grungy and it's a good way to use scraps as well I only use them papers because I want to use these, these, this in in a in a journal. But you, you know, it's a great way to use your scraps up. Just make a load of these, and then cut them down for your ephemera. Right, there's the black. I'm just going to dry off that first, and then I'm going to come in with the white. Okay, so I've got my white. Let's see if we can put some on with the white as well. Okay, so there's my master board it took absolutely ages to dry that paint uh, ink did um, these I cut down to two and a half inch squared so I'm going to do the same I mean obviously if you want to use them for journal cards or if you want to do some circles I'm going to do another one uh, to make some ephemera out of but I just want to use these for like little embellishments so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down right two and a half was it two and a half or was it two? No, it was two, so we'll use that one. Let's put that down to two, because it'll be too big. Two in must have been two inch squared that I've done. Oops, come on. Yeah, it's a two inch, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that strip there, that will come in handy for something. Right, let's do two inches. Let's do this side. Obviously, cut them down to whatever size, whatever shape die cut them do whatever you want with them there's two My, there must be a little bit of ink wet somewhere on the right I'm going to keep that piece because I'm going to cut some circles I don't think my punch will go through it let's just try I don't want to break my punch I might have to die cut them I think let's just have a look if it will go through oh it does fantastic so let's cut some Let's cut some circles. That one's just shot under the floor somewhere. Bear with me a second, guys. Oh, that's good. So we'll, we'll have some circles as well. Right, let's cut these down to two inches first and then just wipe over my, my cutter. And that's two by two. I'm going to do some a bit smaller there's them right let's cut let's cut this down to one and a half we'll have some different sizes I'm going to keep them strips these can you see there guys sorry my trim is a bit big to fit on there's one yeah that's it must have been one and a half that I cut them to <laughs> yeah one and a half by one and a half well one and a half inch squared sounds better doesn't it easier to say so you get quite a lot out of a 12 by 12 you can use anything you've got don't need 12 by 12 you can just 
book pages just what you would normally collage onto really right let's do these should we do these bigger yeah let's have these a bit bigger we'll do these one and a half just a different shape I'm not going to embellish all of them on camera obviously I just want to show you what I used to put the shine on them and then this one so I'm just going to cut that right okay let me just grab a wet wipe and just wipe over my Remember because some of the paint must have still been a bit wet. Some on the blade. <laughs> right, there we go. Let's pop that out the way and let's just get something to put these on to put some glue on. Okay, so we've got quite a lot there out of that. They're the bigger ones, and then we've got some smaller ones. Right, let's get to my circle punch and let's just see if we can punch the others out I'm just trying to get rid of some paint off my hands ink rather uh, let's see if this per uh, punch will go through them all oh great I've dropped another one on the floor and I will keep these because these will go in a journal you know the the negative this side here is great for embellishing your journals with I use them all the time. Oh, made up, they've gone through the punch. I was thinking I'd have had to get my die cutting machine. Yeah, keep them because they're great for embellishing in a journal. Well, I use them anyway. Put that over there. We'll just pick a couple out just to put some. Uh, we'll do a couple of. We'll do three squares, three of the bigger ones, and three of the little ones and then I'll do the rest off camera and where's the other little one there we go we've got loads there haven't we out of that one sheet made up with that so what I used was let's just put some ink around the edges of these first before I put the liquid glass on because you can't touch it it's a bit like glossy accents it needs a while to dry so Yeah, and you could do one of these in the theme of your journal, couldn't you? You know, if you're doing a blue journal or a green journal or whatever colour journal you're doing. Just, I mean, that was just an ordinary piece of plain scrapbook paper that we've made there with these embellishments. I'm not going to put ball pins in them or anything yet. I'll do that when I come to use them because I don't know what I'll want to use them for, so... We'll just leave them as they are. I'll just do a couple and I'll just show you what I used. Right, let's have a little bit of embellishing on. Uh, let's have a look. Just do nine. Right, so the cluster kit from Andrea. Uh, what have you done with it, Alison? Is here. You get all sorts of bits and pieces in it. So I'm thinking to just put some embellishments on the front um, I know some of these are tickets and labels and whatnot but that doesn't matter you can put on whatever you want great little kit this one another butterfly down there we'll have another green butterfly there yeah you get all sorts with it it's great for collage with collaging with um, that one. Might put them on there. Two little stickers there. What's these? Yeah, let's just put that in the corner. You don't have to cover them if you don't want to. You don't have to embellish them if you don't want to. Right, have I got enough there? I think so. We put something else under this one here. Right, so I'm just going to ink around my ephemera. Yes, 
pieces of ephemera I've got a piece of baking paper here just then they don't stick to the paper um, and I'll show you what I use let's just spread them out a little bit right what I used is this stuff it's called tri art liquid glass pouring medium I think it's used for resin, it's a bit like glossy accents but I was sick of buying glossy accents in the small bottle so I found this, I, I suppose you should put a little bit in a palette really but I'm just being completely lazy, in fact I think I might put some in a palette and then I don't uh, put it everywhere, uh, where's my little palette gone here, let's just put a little bit in there, right and I just want another paint brush and all you do is just like you do with glossy accents is just cover your cover your embellishments so you get that shine you need to leave it to dry and can you see there obviously it'll dry it'll dry like that one with the shine on so let's just put some all over these embellishments. pieces of ephemera embellishments whatever you want to use them for like I said you could put a bulb clip in them use them as little dangles and then we've got all these here as well um, that we can embellish and do whatever we want to do with tons of them yeah so I'm happy with them all them out of one 12 by 12 paper so there we go there's our messing on a Monday video guys I hope you've enjoyed watching take care and I'll see you all soon in my next video bye for now